Hey guys, here we go into a video on traps in the Usyk versus Chizora fight in what was actually a really, really good fight. Uh, even though, you know, the scoring seemed kind of strange, um, I think Usyk, he maybe gave some rounds away uh, in a fashion of, you know, just being a little less active than he needed to be. And I think this Derek Chizora did a great job of filling those spaces in which uh, Usyk wasn't punching and wasn't looking for punches or wasn't looking to score. Uh, with punches, uh, big, wide punches that everyone could see, and a lot of punches on the inside, you know, getting a hold of Usyk, making it a, a rough and rugged fight, and making sure that we remember that he was in the ring with Chizora. And I think Chizora did a great job of that. Um, so I think that one of the scorecards is a little wide, but I don't have a problem with Usyk winning this fight. I think later in the rounds, he controlled most of the rounds, even though... Uh, Derek Chisora did a decent job of landing some good shots around the guard. And that's kind of what we're going to be talking about here. As we can see here, Derek Chisora's power, uh, definitely something that Usyk needed to respect as he misses this shot. And, and Usyk is able to successfully get under the right hook here, uh, or the left hook here of Derek Chisora, but get caught with the right hand here, kind of, with a glancing arm blow, right? It's not even hitting him, and it's enough to send him reeling. Right, set up a body shot, give him a free punch. But in order for Usyk to have any success in this fight, he has to figure out how to get control of that left hand uh, and make Chizora less comfortable throwing that punch. So what we have is again Chizora coming forward with that big left hand here, and Usyk trying to get a hold of it. He's trying to block it. He's trying to slip the shot, get onto the front foot, or catch the shot, um, and start setting up counters, right? But he needs to get control of that shot, figure out where it's going to go, and how to set up his counter uh, by figuring out what position he's going to be in when that punch lands, right? But uh, Chizora making that very difficult for him uh, with, with that shot getting around the guard. Now here, Usyk's on the line, shooting the shot, pushing him to the back half of his line, landing what looks to be a right hook, and then trying to peel and get off the line. But again, that massive left hand, just sweeping so much distance, still catching Usyk here. And so Usyk knows he needs to do something. He has to take that left hand away because he's not only did it almost knock him down already, not only did it sneak behind his guard, but now when he's exiting the line, that punch is so long and so sweeping, it's still catching him on his way out here. Now, again, that sweeping left hand, right? Usyk finally finding an opportunity to get off of that line. But watch Derek Chisora take that step forward, shifting forward, bringing his weight forward, and controlling Usyk after throwing the right hand with his right hand, allowing him to close this space off and then get into a position which he can rough Usyk up again controlling him with this big right hand that Usyk has to respect, right? He's been hit with it. He's It's already gotten around his guard. It's hit him on the exit of engagements. And so far, that big right hand is controlling Usyk and allowing Chizora to get into positions to land body shots like this uh, and have an opportunity to, to give him some presence late in the fight, you know, if he can do enough damage to Usyk early. So Usyk says, okay, I got to start getting control of that shot. So he's fainting and sees that shot coming and finally finds an opportunity to block it. Pendulum steps back and lands an excellent counter straight left hand. Um, kind of catch and counter style and very likely the best punch that Usyk landed all fight. Um, and has nearly no effect on Chizora. No effect at all. And I do think that there were some punches that Chizora uh, took that did hurt him in this fight. But none that looked as sensational as this shot here. Um, and we can see what happens after he, eats, he hits him. Derek Chisora is still able to close the space and get a hold of Usyk and really lay some damage on him. But Usyk does finally land that counter. So setting a trap and finding a way to draw um, Chisora into his line as he moves off of it and then into his counter. So what does Derek Chisora do? He sets up a trap of his own where he faints with the right hand, and Usyk looks to move off of his line and shoot that same pull counter, that same catch and counter, straight left hand, but Derek Chisora has shifted his weight forward and taken that step, and now he's catching Usyk with the right hook, 
Let's just watch it one more time. It's beautiful. He slips to the front foot, uses the same motion that he would be using to throw his straight right hand to feint Usyk and get him into this position, the same catch and counter position he was in before. And then when Usyk hits the ground, he looks to shoot his counter straight left hand. But Derek Chisora has now shifted his weight forward, and that allows him to bring his weight with him and through this cross, bring his weight back to the back foot and stun Usyk. As you can see, Usyk almost goes down from that shot. But an excellent technique, shifting his weight to the front foot here, almost creating a line, almost really good body mechanics, and at the same time, feinting with the right hand, opening up the space he needs to take this step with his right leg and set up this right hook on the inside um, as he shifts forward. Uh, an excellent sequence of events, an excellent uh, trap for Chizora, and to be honest, not something I ever would have expected him to be able to pull off against someone uh, as technically sound as Usyk. Uh, but it was, it was an, it's an absolutely uh, wonderful trap set off of Usyk's trap for his own right hand. Uh, brilliant boxing, and that's exactly what you want to do, right? You want to feint, create space, and then with the space you create that your opponent is looking to take advantage of, you're going to punch in between. Um, and uh, just a brilliant setup. So anyway, if you guys are interested, we're going to be taking a look at many, many more of the strategies in this fight and the tactics that went on in it um, that allowed Chizora to seemingly have a lot of success against Usyk. Uh, well, we're going to be doing that on my Patreon. It's 20 bucks to sign up, 20 bucks a month. Uh, so all my post-fight film studies are going to be going on to Patreon. And I do film studies nearly every day, um, as well as uh, personalized boxing coaching, um, breakdowns of your shadow boxing, your heavy bag work, your double in bag work, your speed bag work, uh, designing personalized drills to help you get to the next level. Um, and uh, yeah, I do these videos nearly every single day. So uh, check it out. I'm going to have my Patreon. I think I have over 300 videos now. Um, and yeah. Uh, thanks, guys.